Hi everyone, my name is Yellow Magic, or at least that is my username that I go by on uh, social media, the internet, and so on. I used to do a bit of Let's Plays back in the day of many RPG Maker games. I kind of felt the need to get back into this type of thing for various reasons, so here I am. And today I'm going to be Let's Playing a very small game, apparently, by a member of RPGMaker.net called Kai Lila. I Hope I pronounced that right. If I haven't, apologies. Uh, this is a game called Cat Chases Life. It's a text-based game, and supposedly it's not going to be very long, so there's a chance that this could be the one video encompassing the entire game. I'm not really sure what it's about. If I were a betting person, I would bet on the fact that this is a game about a cat going on an adventure. Let's see if I am right. I guess thinking about it, I don't really want to read out the text, so I'm just going to try and go really slowly so that anyone who reads at different paces should be able to cope. So, let's start reading. To hunt or not to hunt? Oops. <laughs> what? Who would ever film cats doing silly things? And put on YouTube. Like, who does that? There has to be a purpose somewhere, right? Good question, cat. Oh, by the way, in case you hear weird sounds, it's probably me sipping my coffee, so apologies about that. Alright, so now in the apartment, there is a bed, there is a table, a chair, keys, I can go check out my friend, apparently that's not a good idea, uh, there's a couch facing the middle of the room, a TV screen on a luxurious stand, wide enough to jump onto. I forgot what I'm looking for. Oh, this is I'm hungry, so I'm probably looking for food. If I were a cat looking for food, would I just check the door to freedom? I might check the desk. Could be in a Kit Kat or something. Do cats eat Kit Kat? I don't know. Ah! The things on the desk. Those are a whole different story, like food. Let's jump on the desk. Nope. Huh. Poor cat was mistaken. <sighs> Maybe there's food outside? This cat does haikus. I don't think Pong is going to do much on the window. I haven't seen a cat strong enough to break open a window. But I'm not an expert on cats, so I wouldn't know. 
is head back down. Um, if the if the owner, so to speak, of the cat is anything like me, they might have food around the bed. Tiny, tiny black hairs. Is this a white cat or a black cat? Because it could be that the hairs are mice. Okay. <laughs> Go on then. Now I'm grooming for some reason. I guess that's what cats do. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this white material is and I don't want to think about it too much. And head back. All right, that was uh, that wasn't entirely productive. Maybe I'll check the TV stand. But there's a space below a TV stand. That might have food. Hey, hey, there's food here. Some more treats, as well as something that might have been tuna. Usually, if I can't identify a food, I'm not going to eat it. If I, if I were a cat, would I think differently? Hmm. I don't know. Cats can be pretty smart. Yeah. Final Fantasy for tree theme. Okay, cool. So I checked out the TV stand, I checked out the desk, I checked out the bed. I guess I didn't try turning the TV on. That could be funny. Uh, wasn't there a remote on the desk? Jump onto the desk. Pod a remote. I gently feel out the remote. It's like an incredibly long, big paw with a whole village of paw pads. It's the best massage. I don't think the cat particularly cares about the fact that it's trying to turn on the TV. It probably doesn't have a concept of turning on the TV. In which case... Fix the remote. <laughs> I really want to watch TV. Whoa. Uh-oh. Forget it. Forget it. Should I check out my friend? What's my friend up to? At least I have a friend. That's good. Oh. Friend. Or oh, owner. No. Alright, I think I've covered all the options really. So in that case I'm probably going to check the door to freedom and see what happens. Oh god, is, is, is this cat ready? Am I, am I ready? Let's do it. Jump up to the keys and manage to hold them onto them with my claws, turn my body. Keys and claws. Click. Opens the hatch. Latch. Door opens just a tiny bit. Look. Freedom! Gentle wind caressing me like a full body fan. <coughs> Excuse. Sun is shining on this beautiful day. 
Following the short steps down, there's a road leading to more roads. With houses and more houses, paths upon paths, all seemingly funneling into the main road ahead. There's a huge building. There's a meadow and a building. Usually I'm a city type of guy. I'd probably go check out the building. Special parties. Let's keep heading towards the building. So now I'm inside the building and there's a bit of a smell, apparently. Rows and rows of wooden planks littering the place. Deeper inside I smell something else, some food. I'm quite big on food, as has already been established. Stacks of books. Let's check out the planks. That's a sick poem there. Check out books. It's all the same book. Where am I? I feel like I should be able to figure this out by now, but <laughs> I'm just dumb. There's a staircase. A rusty, musty spiral staircase, which leads me to a wide room, I'm told the other room. Napping time. Mm. Ooh, there's a well-dressed, tall person in black. Oh, I think I know what building this is. A wood and pipe thing. Someone dressed in black. Two plus two equals four. Ah, I'm being petted. What is purring like? Too cute. Yeah, it's a church. I already figured that out in the last, like, one or two minutes. Okay, so apparently that was one of the endings, and there are multiple endings for that I remember. I could try going for another one, actually. But let's look at the credits. I probably shouldn't be looking at the credits right now, but whatever. Made by Kalala using Twine 2. Oh, this is for an event on RMN. I've been really out of the loop lately, so I haven't been entirely familiar with what's been going on there. Ah, root theme roulette. <laughs> I get you. Let me try one more. Because this is an interesting little concept. Of just nothing in particular. I, I think it reminds me of those games that are called walking simulators, I think, where you literally just walk around, like within the game obviously, you walk around and you just observe the scenery and stuff like that, so I guess this is like a similar concept, but text-based, 
which is very interesting. All right, this is round two. I am probably going to fast forward a bit. Oh, it looks like I have to get the food again. So I'm going to do that. I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, there was food near the TV stand, wasn't there? Uh, I could try eating both this time. Should I? I have a feeling this isn't going to end well, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. I devour everything in sight. The tuna-like object is chewy. Very strangely chewy. Okay, so now I am ready to go because I have had some food and I get some freedom again. Alright, so I went to the biggest building, which happened to be a church. This time, I think I'm going to try going to the meadow to see what's up in the meadow. These meadows are alright. Hmm, mice, eh? No, I can't find the mouse. The desperate wooing attempts at birds. No, oh, is that true? Birds search for each other through singing. Probably depends on the bird, but I can see that. You don't have to go anywhere and still find someone. Oh. Yeah. Much deeper into the grass. Oh, moist, that word. Why is there water everywhere? Let's try eating grass. Mm, do cats eat grass? I wonder. But now let's try hunting. Because I'm an omnivore. I'm not a vegan cat. Ha 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 ha. Whoa. <laughs> Focus. Attack! Oh, I cut a mouse. But it doesn't look like it's alive anymore. <sighs> that dumb Natasha, she can't even catch mice. And so I return home, lay the mouse before Natasha's room, and vow to henceforth make enough fuss for her to let me eat outside. Haha, well done, cat. 
Maybe next time I can catch even a bird. Prey and price ending. That was cute. And I guess it is just another day in the life of a cat. Interesting stuff. Makes you think. What is a cat's life reader like? Looks like Kalila has a better answer to that question than most. Alright, um, that was fun again. Should I do it one more time? I think I'll do it one more time. Why not? I'm here already, so let's do it. Start over. Again, let's go to the TV stand. Check the space. Eat just the treats. Everything's fine. Check the door to freedom. Jump up to the keys. Pull the door open. I hope no one minds that I'm just fast forwarding this. But this basically is just leaving the house and going and doing more interesting things outside. Okay, so I've been to the biggest building, which was the church. I've been to the meadow to catch that mouse. And now I'm going to walk down the street. On a pretty long road. Roads are weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. I ponder on the meaning of life, as you do, cat. You're supposed to enjoy the journey, man. Enjoy it. Maybe take a detour. That might make things more interesting. Just like real life. Whoa! What a metaphor. I'm not really sure why I decided to jump into a trash can when I think about it. Could it be? It's a cat! <laughs> Run to say hello, attempt seduction, assert dominance. Can you guess which one after three I'm gonna pick? First of all. Oh, it's a beautiful cat. Oopsie daisy. Anyway. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> this, I'm, I'm an Africa. Uh-oh. Rot, rot. sucks. I feel so defeated. Worst of all, I have no idea where exactly I am, nor how to get home. I miss Natasha, and I'm hungry, but I might as well search for some more trash cans. Lone stray cat ending. Credits. Oh, and it even shows me the endings that occurred. I think I'm going to leave it there because I have to actually go for lunch now, but... Yeah, this was a this was a fun, interesting change of pace from the usual RPG Maker game. Um, pretty straightforward. Again, I felt like a walking simulator, but like a text-based one. Didn't really seem to have much of a plot to it. Besides, I'm a cat. I'm owned, or and my friend is Natasha. And I kind of just want to go exploring and eat some nice food along the way, and figure out the meaning of life. All very relatable things, even to us human beings. Maybe that is the lesson of this game. But yeah, that was fun. Well done, Kalila, if you're watching this. Uh, a good 25 or so minutes. 
Um, I'm probably going to be doing other Let's Plays as well, so please uh, feel free to make any requests that you want. I'm going to put a link to the topic in RPGmaker.net so that if you're a member of RPGmaker.net, you can go into that topic and then you can request something. If you are not a member of RPGmaker.net, then you can literally just put a request in the comments and I will get to it as soon as I can. Until the let's next Let's Play though, this is Yellow Magic, signing off.